Hi, I'm Leah and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing my current relaxed haired regimen with you. You've been sending me a few DMs and comments asking about my current regimen, so here it is. Now I do have a page on my blog that is dedicated to talking about my hair regimen and I'll link that in the description box for you. But I realized that it's actually been two years, yes, two years since I did a video all about my hair regimen. I know I've shared a few things here and there on my Instagram feed and my stories and even I've shared a few things in some videos here on my YouTube channel, but it's time for a new video and that's what you're getting right now. What I'll be sharing in this video is what I do to my relaxed hair when I wash it, what I do with my hair during the week and the products that I use to maintain my hair. The reason I want to start with washing my hair is because I see it as a reset. It gives my hair another round of moisture, it gets rid of dirt, oil, and buildup, and just sets it up for a good week. I love washing my hair, but I only do it once a week unless my hair gets really dirty and I feel like a midweek wash is needed. To start off my hair washing, I do a pre-poo or pre-shampoo treatment. I leave the treatment on for about 20 to 30 minutes, and then it's time to move into shampooing. When I shampoo my hair, I do two lathers, the first is with a sulfate moisturizing shampoo or a clarifying shampoo if I feel that my hair needs a deeper clean. The second lather is with a sulfate free moisturizing shampoo. Lately, I've been doing bond treatments in between my lathers. I find that my hair takes better to the bond treatments when I've done that first lather and gotten rid of that surface level of buildup. After I finish shampooing my hair, I do a green tea hair rinse to help minimize hair shedding. Now, sometimes I do the rinse before I deep condition and then leave the rinse on during the deep conditioning. Other times I leave the hair rinse on for five minutes, then rinse it out before I apply the deep conditioner. Either way, I'm doing my rinse. I make sure to massage the tea into my scalp and apply it to the length of my hair. After I do my tea rinse, it's time to deep condition. And this is probably one of my favorite parts of washing my hair. Now, when I deep condition, I typically use a moisturizing deep conditioner, but if I feel that my hair needs a little bit more oomph to it, I'll swap out the moisturizing one for a strength-based deep conditioner. I haven't been doing that lately though because I've been doing the bond treatments and I feel that using more protein products during my wash when I'm already doing the bond treatments is just overkill. When I deep condition, I like to use heat to help the conditioner better penetrate my hair strands. And to get that heat, I either use my hair steamer or a make a wipeable deep conditioning cap. I typically leave the conditioner on for about 25 to 30 minutes unless I lose track of time and then I go ahead and rinse it out. Now I move into drying my hair and typically when I dry my hair I do a roller set. Now there might be some times when I don't have time to do a roller set or I don't have all the things that I need to do a roller set like it was when I first moved back to North Carolina and was staying with my parents. So when that happens, I will blow dry my hair instead. Either way I dry my hair, I always make sure to apply a leave-in conditioner so that I'm adding some additional moisture to my hair. I do a heat protectant so that I'm protecting my hair from the heat that it's going to be exposed to. And I also use a hair serum. Once my hair is dry, I assess it and decide whether or not I feel like a flat iron is something that I wanna do. And if I do use a flat iron, I use it on low heat and it's usually just to smooth out the kinks from my roller set or if I blow dried my hair to get my hair looking even smoother. Now, a few more things when it comes to my wash. Um, before I go to bed that day that I wash my hair, I make sure to moisturize and seal my ends. And then I may also sometimes apply a little oil to my scalp. Then when it comes to maintaining or taking care of my hair during the week, I will moisturize and seal as needed that sometimes might be every day, other times it might be every few days. I just pay attention to what my hair needs. And if my ends start to feel really dry and I feel like the moisturizing and sealing isn't quite enough, I will baggy them overnight. And then if I'm sweating a lot because I'm working out or just spending time outside in the heat, I will use a dry shampoo to freshen up my hair but I try to limit the dry shampoo use to about two or three times a week. I don't want to overdo it. At night, I will either cross wrap my hair and cover it with a satin scarf or I'll just put it in a satin bonnet and let it hang in the bonnet. And then if I have curled my hair and I wanna refresh my curls, I will use steam rollers or satin pillow rollers at night to do that. Okay, so that's my hair regimen. That's what I do to my hair when I wash it and to take care of it and maintain it during the week. So now let's talk about products. What are the products that I have been using currently? I will let you know that sometimes I may swap these products out for others when I'm trying some new ones or if I'm out of my go-to products and I decide I'm gonna use a backup, a product that I like but not don't like as much as my go-to because I wanna save some money 
and not go ahead and restock because I've got a whole bunch of products sitting there waiting for me to use. Okay, we're gonna start with my wash and kind of go through all the products that I typically use for that and then also products that I use to maintain my hair during the week. So as I said, I start every wash with a pre-poo and typically I will do my own mixture for my pre-poo and that is usually the Aussie 3 Minute Miracle Moist Deep Conditioner mixed with Jamaican Black Castor Oil olive oil or sunflower oil, or it could be all three. Then after I pre-poo, I go ahead and shampoo. My first wash or first lather is either the Joyco Moisture Recovery Shampoo, or if I'm clarifying my hair, it's going to be the ORS Olive Oil Creamy Aloe Shampoo. When I do my second lather, I use the TGIN Moisture Rich Sulfate Free Shampoo. It's my favorite, so that probably shouldn't have been a surprise for you that that's one of the shampoos that I use. Now the other shampoo that I use is the dry shampoo and that is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Dry Shampoo and like I said, I don't use it on a regular basis. I just use it when I need to freshen up my hair. The bond treatment I've been using in between washes right now is the Olaplex number no. three. That's not my usual bond treatment. The one that I typically use though is the Cream of Nature Plex Breakage Defense. And I like that one because it's cheaper and it works just as well as the Olaplex does, but I got a Pretty good deal on Olaplex, so I decided to go ahead and use it this time. But once I'm done with that bottle, I'll be going back to the Cream of Nature Plex Breakage Defense. For my green tea rinse, it's really nothing special. I just use a caffeinated store brand of green tea, and I brew that the day of washing my hair or the day before. For my deep conditioning, I use the TGIN Miracle Repair X Deep Hydrating Hair Mask. It's one of my favorites. I love it. Um, and when I use heat i either use a hair steamer and the one that i have is the easy basics i got it on amazon and i just bought it during a prime day and it's been working for me for the last few years i love it and then the deep conditioning cap i use is from the brand hothead and that's a brand that i've been using pretty much close to the beginning of my hair journey the current oil that i use on my scalp is the mayel rosemary mint oil i really like it i will caution you though if you decide to use it that the mint smell is really strong so if you don't like the smell of mint this probably isn't the oil for you and I would also say that I tend to try to use it the night before I'm going somewhere. I don't use it like the day of when I'm going somewhere just because the smell takes a while to dissipate and you don't want to smell like an old lady when you're out and about. Lately when I've been drying my hair, I've been using the Eden Body Works Almond Marshmallow Therapy Leave-In Conditioner, the Mayel Mongongo Oil Thermal and Heat Protectant Spray, and then the Olaplex Number no. 9 Bond Protector Nourishing Hair Serum. When I moisturize and seal my hair, the day I wash my hair and then also throughout the week. My duo for that has been the TGIN Buttercream Daily Moisturizer and also Sunflower Oil. Oh, if you wanna know like what's the hair scarf I use or the hair bonnet I use, it's nothing special. I think I found them at like Sally Beauty. They were like on sale. Just get something that's satin that works for you that's not going to mess up your edges, but it's gonna keep your hair nice and protected and has a smooth surface for your hair to rub against. Okay, I think that's everything. I think those are all the products that I use. As I previously mentioned, I'll be including a link in the description box to my blog page where my current hair regimen and products are kept so that you can always reference that as I make sure to keep that up to date. I'm not gonna do videos every single time I change something in my hair regimen, but I do update that page. So make sure you bookmark it so that you can keep checking it out. And also on that page, I have links to reviews I've done for the products as well as links to where you can purchase the products on your own. Now it is your turn to share about your hair regimen and your hair products. So go ahead, get in the comments and start sharing. I know you guys love doing that and I love reading all of your comments. And as you're commenting, please also give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and feel free to share this on your social channels. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.